The reconnaissance battalion was a key component of all German divisions. This was especially true for the Panzer divisions. Reconnaissance was a very sophisticated and complex undertaking and the armored reconnaissance battalions were not simply scout units. The tactical doctrine governing the employment of these battalions was that they should fight for the information. Locating the enemy was only the first step in the process. The reconnaissance battalion was then expected to force the enemy to deploy, revealing his strength and intentions. Thus, the battalion had to have sufficient strength and firepower. These considerations governed its organization from 1939 until 1945. The battalion headquarters company and the armored car companies were well equipped with radios, including long-range types to facilitate communications with higher headquarters. The armored car platoons had four, six and eight-wheeled armored cars armed with machine guns and 20 mm automatic cannons. Typically, these platoons would lead the way, probing for the enemy, with the motorcycle infantry company and the heavy company with its anti-tank and infantry guns in close support, ready to go into action when contact was made. The wheeled armored cars, motorcycles and trucks with which the armored reconnaissance battalion was equipped proved adequate for operations in areas with a developed road networks such as France. But in Russia, where good roads were few, they were less effective due to their limited off-road mobility. The first year of the campaign in Russia also disclosed that the, that the battalion's firepower was inadequate. The obvious solution to the mobility problem was to equip the reconnaissance battalion's heavy companies with tracked and half-tracked vehicles and with more and heavier support weapons. It is interesting to note that the US Army used the M3 Stuart light tanks for this purpose. In reconnaissance role, they were expected to remain behind the main reconnaissance force as the support element and to increase the firepower whenever enemy contact was made. But unlike the US Army, the German army never equipped its armored reconnaissance battalions with light tanks. Instead, they used the Sonderkraftfahrzeug, so special purpose vehicle 250 light armored half-track in the heavy company of the armored reconnaissance battalions. The level of protection of these vehicles was minimal. Rifle caliber small arms fire and shell fragments would likely be stopped, but anti-tank rifles and virtually any form of artillery could perforate the 250 even at long ranges. The heavy company had 5 officers, 43 NCOs and 189 other ranks. It had two 250-3 command vehicles. This version had fewer seats, but it was equipped with long-range radio equipment. These were sometimes used by battalion and higher commanders as personal command vehicles. Most famously, a 250-3 was used by Erwin Rommel in the North African campaign. Early versions had large bed frame antennas, which were easy to spot on long range, making them more vulnerable to artillery fire. Later variants used the far less conspicuous VIP antenna. 
the company had three platoons with 28 250-1 APCs, three 37mm gun armed 250-10 for the platoon leaders, and four mortar equipped 250-7 APCs, which mounted an 81mm mortar. However, there were never enough APCs to replace wheeled armored cars completely. Nonetheless, the 1942 Armored Reconnaissance Battalion, as it was by then designated, was considerably larger and more heavily armed than its predecessor. In the second part of the war, in addition to its primary role, the Armored Reconnaissance Battalion was frequently employed as a mobile reserve force, particularly when its parent division was on the defensive. When so tasked, it was usually organized as a battle group or Kampfgruppe in German, with additional divisional units attached. This practice of cross-attaching divisional subunits to create task forces for specific missions was a standard practice of the German army. In the post-war period, most major armies adopted and elaborated upon the wartime German reconnaissance unit model. The US Army, for example, evolved the Armored Cavalry Regiment, in effect a mechanized brigade with its own tank, artillery and helicopter support. The Light Armored Cavalry Regiment was developed in the United States Army in the first years of the Cold War. The new regiments primarily tasked with providing reconnaissance and security capabilities at the core level, although also able to attack and defend either mounted or dismounted. The structure of each regiment included a headquarters and headquarters company and three reconnaissance battalions, each of which included a headquarters, a service company, three reconnaissance companies and finally a medium tank company.